Hello out there, my name is Benjamin and thank you so much for joining me once again in the studios of Blackburn Solutions. Just a quick one. Let me use this opportunity to wish Adam a belated happy birthday. Bro, stay true to who you are because I know you are an amazing person. Your family, your friends, everybody would hope and wish for. I believe and I knew that you had a fantastic birthday celebration. So please have a great year ahead. So that was just for that. Alright, so in today's video tutorial, I will be walking you guys through a step by step with no steps skipped on how to create this wonderful clothing flyer. This is coming up shortly. Alright, so if you are new to this channel, please do well to subscribe, like, comment and share the videos for other people to also subscribe if you're already a part of this family thank you so much for showing up once again and please don't forget to like the video as well without any further ado let's quickly jump right into the video and let's begin so first of all this is the text that i will be using and these are the resources that i will be using too okay Alright, so let's run to Photoshop. So let's create a new document and here we will be creating an A5 flyer. So go to print, come in here A5 and these is the dimensions and we are going to name this clothing flyer. We won't be printing this, so I'm going to leave this in RGB mode. Provided we will be printing, then I'm going to choose CMYK. Alright, so this is not going to be printed. Alright, so we are done for everything here. Then let's click create. Alright, first and first is I'm going to create a solid background color in here. And I'm going to come to add layer style and go to solid color. And I'm going to choose a uh, yellowish color. Let me say I have the hexa code here, and the hexa code is F9 BD44. Right, so this is the hexa code that I'll be using for the yellow color or the color yellow. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly jump right in and import my first image, which is part of my resource file. So I'm going to be shifting this image in here this way and hit enter. So we have this image in here. Cool. Right. So the next thing is I'm going to draw up a rectangle to shape. So this way with a white background, not a black background with a white background. So in here, I'm going to choose a white background Good. and select my move to right. So I'm going to be shifting this downwards a bit and what I'll be doing is uh, what I'll be doing next is I'm going to create some shape layers as well of whom I will be clip maxing my other images on top so I'm using a rounded rectangle too well the color will not be of need but I'm just trying to change the color and I'm going to release this sorry before let me make here zero and release this so in here I'm going to change the size of this to something like 74 74 is okay and I'm going to place this one here as this press ctrl T make sure your layer is selected press ctrl T hold the alt key and let's resize this or maybe hold the shift key sorry hold the shift key and let's resize this this way all right so I have this shape in here this way can we shift this up a bit? All right, so I think this is okay. Hit enter and let's duplicate all these shapes. So hold your Alt key. Make sure you you've selected the layer. Hold your Alt key and sorry. So make sure the layer is selected. Hold your Alt key and click to drag to duplicate. All right. So let's do same for the others and let's duplicate this one as well. All right. Good. So now we can select all shapes by holding our shift key and clicking the shapes to select them. 
all right so i think this is okay but in here i'm going to change the edges okay the edges are going to look square 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 like and maybe make this look the opposite all right so Control t right click and let's turn this horizontal i guess good press enter and with this come back to the panel in here the property panel in here and let's turn this to zero hit enter that is it do same for this one let's change this to zero hit enter sorry uh what is choose zero 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 and that's it all right so we have this in here like this so what next the next thing is we are going to drop our images on top of the layers as in click masking our images on top of the shapes layer that we have in here so let's first of all select our first shape and let's go get our first image where is this image all right so with your with your um alt key held okay we can scale this image proportionally without distorting it so hit enter come back to the image in the layers panel hold your alt key and or select the layer right click on it and just choose create clipping mask and we have this done for you is that okay all right so let's do same for the others all right guys so since it's the same step what i'm going to do is i'm going to fast forward this portion and i will get back to you guys shortly all right guys so welcome back from that quick one so i have a video on layer clipping masking so uh, it's somewhere on top of the screen so make sure to click and check it out okay so if you, that is it about the clipping mask so quickly the next thing you're going to do is i'm going to uh, select my this shape the rectangle to and i'm going to add a layer mask to it and wipe out all this top portion of the white background i mean this white portion okay so with this selected let's choose our brush tool and resize this to any size that you think currently mine is set to 500 so i'm just going to clean this thing like this okay and there you go that is for wiping okay so let's bring back our images make sure you turn that you select your move to and all right so now that we've had this done the next thing is to import or bring in our typing or our text okay so i have my text here massive clothing what i'm using is select your type to I'll be using a font by name Montserrat Massive. Let me put the Massive in here. And I'm going to bring in clothing. They are all different text. So with your type 2 selected. And let's place this one here as well. Clothing. All right. So let me quickly work on these ones. So, Montserrat should be set to, let me say, 50. Okay, let me make it 55. All right. Let me push it somewhere here. And maybe the clothing should be made 25, I guess. All right. And maybe increase the spacing between the letters all right so something like this is okay what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to create a rectangle to something like this all 
something like this with a whitish background all right i'm going to push this layer down and hold both layers or select both layers and now we can align both together okay so i'm going to shift this to the top this way so the massive actually should be turned to let me say should it be white or should it be green okay the massive should be turned to white and maybe the clothing should be turned to yellow right all right so i'm going to create a round or an ellipse to hold your shift key to get a proportionate size And I'm going to place it on top of the eye. So let's see which color works in here. All right, guys. So now let's move back to our next step, which is importing the other text that we have in here. So these ones would appear down here this way so all right so we currently have this in here and the last thing that we will be doing or we'll be looking at is a telephone number but i will place that on top of a ship so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create my shape a rectangle shape this way and I'm going to draw something like this okay something like this is okay and I'm going to choose the color that I chose in here for the that was 34 34 37 34 34 37 right good I don't like this let me choose let me see this this is okay okay I think this is okay so let me go quickly go and change that of the text color. So then, so let me change the text color for this for both. Sorry, control D. So I'm going to change the text color to this. Good. All right. So with this shape in here. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to duplicate this shape like this. Control J to duplicate this. Okay, so with the down one, I'm going to change the color of the down one to let me say yellow. And there you have it. So I'm going to shift this down a bit. Something small is good. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the like yellow as well. Control J. And I'm going to use the first one, which is this one. And I'll come back to my add layer style. Then let's say let's drop a shadow, right? Okay. So we are dropping a shadow, right? Okay, good. So um the opacity is okay, the distance, let's see the distance. Then the distance is also okay. The size, sorry, the spread. The spread should be left as it was, okay. So, two is okay. And what about the size? The size, the size, the size, the size, the size, the size. Wow, that is 46. No, that's too big. All right, so the size is 16, and I think this is okay. And let's click okay if we are done. So, we're on the same uh, shape. Press Ctrl T, right click, and choose WAP. Okay, so hold in between or the middle of this shape like this. So hold that line or let me see. Press on the line. Press on the line. What is wrong? What is wrong? Control Z. Okay, so uh, hold on the line and drag this this way. And there you go. Hit enter. And we've got it. So let's group all these three shapes together and control J and we group them. So 
chips. All right, guys. So now we can quickly import our text and paste it on top. So with this, I'm going to use a font by name Helvetical in sound. Helvetical in sound, good. And I'm going to shift this here this way. Control T to maybe increase the size. So yeah, that wasn't what I wanted. So hold my Alt key and let's increase the size. To this. Hit enter and we are done but all right guys, so this let brings me us the end of this last massive video. Video. so we have our flyer ready i so believe what we can do is we can actually change the color please do want to yes. subscribe to the yeah, channel if you have a different color make sure to also like so you can reproduce comment this same flyer down with a different the background color comment box so we have this we have that we have this and please do want to share the any color of your choice any color of your choice so until so I come away next time, I want to use this and color. Blab and solutions. Right. And so what I'm going so to much do is for uh, watch and click to OK. End. See you and make sure I change the clothing in here to match that color. So match this color and click OK and make sure I change that of the shape yellow to match that color as well. And you are good to go. So that is it, guys this brings us to the end of today's video tutorial i want to throw up a challenge at you watching this video right now try to create a similar flyer and also uh, change the color to three different colors and tag me on instagram so make sure to follow me on instagram i have a link to my page on in the description below so make sure to click it and follow me on instagram and tag me with your three different colors similar flyer all right guys so this brings us to the end of today's massive video tutorial i believe you really learned a lot in here if you did please do all to subscribe to the channel that is if you have not done so and make sure to like the video as well please do all to comment by leaving them in the comment box below and sharing the video for your other colleagues or loved ones to also have a feel of how to design something amazing like this. Until I come your way next time, it is still Blab and Solutions and thank you so much for sticking around till the end. See you in my next video.